OK, well, let's come back here now to the highly charged issue of fox hunting, which, of course, has been illegal for the past 15 years. Well, during most of that time, its opponents have claimed that the current law, which allows trail hunting, where the hounds follow a laid-down scent, provides a cover for the real thing. Now we've been told by police that they are investigating whether online meetings of hunting's governing body are indeed encouraging hunts men and women to break the law. In recordings we've obtained, one member of what's known as the Hunting Office describes trail hunting as a smokescreen, but the Hunting Office itself says the remarks were taken out of context. Our investigation does contain graphic images of a hunted fox. Scenting blood, a pack of hounds close in on their prey. From the undergrowth, the fox breaks cover, running for its life. The dogs react, pursuing the wild animal. There is no apparent attempt from anyone to call them off. Deliberately hunting mammals with dogs is illegal, yet, as footage shows, foxes are still caught and killed by hounds out hunting. Hunting groups maintain they follow the letter of the law, laying fake scent trails for hounds to follow to simulate hunting. But they say accidents happen. When dogs follow a trail, it frequently leads them to a fox instead. That is not illegal. But animal rights activists have a long-held belief that legal exemptions like trail laying offer little protection to foxes and make illegal activities difficult to prove. When hunts and activists clash, the countryside becomes a hostile environment. Get off it! Confrontation can escalate, often turning violent. Now police are investigating after videos emerged of online meetings held this summer by hunting's governing body, the Hunting Office. They say the seminars clearly dealt with legal trail hunting and managing animal rights activism. But activists argue they raise questions about language and motives of some in the sport. One of the contributors explained to the online audience what to do when saboteurs were in the area. If you've got saboteurs up with you in any shape or form, we need to have clear, visible, plausible trail laying being done throughout the day. It's a lot easier to create a smoke screen if you've got more than one trail layer operating. And that is what it's all about, trying to portray to the people watching that you're going about your legitimate business. More than 100 UK hunt representatives heard how an exemption to the Hunting Act might be used as a wheeze, or cover as some would say. The law states you can use a pack of dogs to flush a wild mammal to be hunted by a bird of prey. Now that's a terribly good wheeze for holding up, and I think that everyone during autumn hunting ought to be considering that. Wary of each other, both animal rights activists and hunts use video evidence to protect themselves. Another contributor to the meeting warned hunters to be careful of what they're recording, to only record the legal things they do. What you don't want to be doing is filming after you've finished laying your trail and filming something that you don't want then to be shown to anybody. So yes, everybody with cameras and videos and recording has got to be very careful about what they're recording. Make sure that we only record all the legal things that we do because of course we only do legal things. The Hunting Act aimed to prevent foxes being killed and disposed of as seen here, but it doesn't prohibit hunts from going out. The police recognise how divisive issues around hunting can be. This is highly emotive uh, and people have very strong views on both sides and it is for the police to review it calmly in conjunction with the Crown Prosecution Service and come to a conclusion about exactly what has taken place. The hunting office chose not to comment on police investigating the webinars. But they say, viewed objectively, the purpose of the webinars is very clear. And the allegation that they were organised to discuss covering up unlawful activities is incorrect and can only be made by taking a few individual short comments completely out of context. Their opponents, on the other hand, see the videos differently. 
Well, these films clearly demonstrate that there are serious questions that need to be answered from both the Countryside Alliance and the Hunting Office. So we're delighted that the police are looking into this and investigating the issue. We've long said that the excuse of trail hunting makes prosecuting illegal activity very, very difficult. And because of that, when, whilst people are still able to use the defence of trail hunting, nothing is going to change. Whatever the outcome of the police investigation, these web meetings are already having an impact. The police say that as a result of them, they will be reviewing their relationships with all those who have an interest in hunting. Hunts and their opponents routinely rub up against each other, both suspicious of their motives. Now with a controversial window into hunting, the animal rights activists sniff a scent and the hunts face being hunted themselves. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10. Some of the prayers of holiday makers